Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Stovetop Yum Yum. Today I'm going to create a classic. I'm going to make some Cajun style shrimp and grits. You don't want to miss it. And now I'm going to take you over so you can see my ingredients. Check it out. Okay guys, so here we have some jumbo deveined and peeled shrimp with the tail on. It looks a lot prettier in the dish. You can take the tails off if you'd like. Today I'm going to use a tablespoon of my concentrated tomato paste in a tube. It's very convenient. We have half a medium onion, half a ground pepper excuse me a bell pepper green bell pepper I have a tablespoon of lemon juice two garlic cloves and right here you're probably wondering where all my powder spices are they're all in here I created my version of Cajun seasoning and in the at the drop down menu in the drop down menu of this video I'll have the ingredients that you can make your own so I kept it in a small tub and if I make it again I probably have for three more dinners I have a tablespoon of my Cajun seasoning in here and today to add texture, we've got some corn. You're probably wondering why it's frozen. I like to use frozen corn because it adds a little liquid to the dish. We're going to thicken it and it also adds texture. And now I will meet you guys over at the stove. Let's get cooking. My pan is hot, so I'm going to go ahead and drop my veggies in. Let me grab my spoon. I'm going to use my cute red spatula today. I'm going to grab my spoon. Woo! Look at that sizzle. You can smell the olive oil. It's, oh my goodness, it smells so delicious, you guys. And like I said, oh my God, it smells good. And I don't have the extractor on, so if anybody shows up, don't be surprised. I always say that. <laughs> so now, since we don't have our, what's our little secret to sweat our onions? A pinch of salt. That's okay, we can use a pinch of salt. We only have a tablespoon of our Cajun seasoning. So just a tiny pinch of salt we're gonna use. And all that's gonna do is just help sweat our onions a lot faster. All right, very important to know. Good tip, so you know. Now, I'm sweating my onions. Now I'm gonna throw in our two cloves of garlic. I love fresh ingredients like garlic and peppers and onions. I love all that. It's just so delicious. And I always remember the onion powder, uh, the Cajun seasoning that I created myself. I'll have the ingredients in the drop down. You can make some for yourself and store it in your spice cabinet whenever you want to make something Cajun. And it's not that much. It's two tablespoons of each ingredient and one of a, and one tablespoon of a few other ones. So it all depends. And if you don't want it spicy, if you don't want to do Cajun, then all you do is omit the cayenne, and then now you have Creole seasoning. And Creole seasoning also has something different that Cajun doesn't have, and that's basil. And we're not using basil. We're, we're doing Cajun today. We're doing Cajun shrimp and cheesy grits. Now, guys, this is so delicious, you guys. Oh, my God. I mean, so delicious. All right, let's throw our Cajun seasoning in there. We have a tablespoon of it. Okay, and the smell in here is going to be so ridiculous in about 30 seconds. Woo, I smell it already. Okay, guys, so once I get my onions all sweated, I'm going to go ahead and add a tablespoon of my tomato paste. You can use it in the can. Uh, I store it in the fridge in my little container that you, you guys always see, or I have it in the fridge as well in a tube, which is very convenient. Measure on a tablespoon and put it in your dish. I don't need to measure, I already know, so there. I have a tablespoon right there, okay. All right, so let's do that. Put that in there, Ooh, it smells so good. Oh my goodness, it smells so delicious, you guys. Keep in mind, though, that we are using frozen corn, a cup of frozen corn, as I mentioned, and what corn is gonna do, corn is going to add some liquid to our dish. Now. It's gonna add liquid to our dish because we're gonna put a tablespoon of flour in this mix that we have right here, and that's going to thicken our dish. Since we did use tomato paste, 
and not tomato sauce. We're also going to do our famous um, maybe three, three or four tablespoons of water because there's water in the in the in the corn because it's frozen. So I have my cup of corn, and I have that. I also have my butter in here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add. Let's grab. Hold on, you guys. Grab your tablespoon measure and grab, a, like I said, I've been cooking for a long time. So grab your measure and get a tablespoon of flour. Let's put that in there. Because we want we want our shrimp to withhold our thick, cheesy grits. You, the last thing you want is some watery sauce from your shrimp, uh, you know, bleeding to the side of your thick, delicious, cheesy grits. So we're going to go ahead and... We are going to give those cheesy grits a run for their money. Well, the shrimp is, not me, but the shrimp. So we're doing this. We're helping the shrimp create a nice, thick sauce. So let's get our, our three tablespoons, four, three to four tablespoons of water is what I'm going to use. I know that my little container already measures like all those four. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Now, we're going to grab, have a whisk candy. You always, when you're working with flour to create a roux, you always want to have a whisk so you don't get any lumps. Very important so you don't get any lumps. Look at that, you guys. Oh my God. Look how thick that is. Just with that little bit. Jeez. Now the corn's gonna add more water. Remember the shrimp going at the end because the shrimp quick cooks the quickest, excuse me. So let's dump our shrimp in there. Excuse me, our corn. I'm always saying things backwards, you guys, I'm sorry. I think I'm becoming famous for that, for saying things, but things backwards. Okay, we can get rid of our mix now. Our whisk, I mean. Okay. It's kind of nerve-wracking day today. It's been nerve-wracking. It's been nice, but it was nerve-wracking. My 12-year-old son got his brace, uh, had his braces put in today, and it was just, it wasn't painful, but, uh, I know he's in pain right now. His mouth is hurting. And stop messing with this. Having kids is not easy, you guys. Okay, guys. So here we go with this. Now we are going to add a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. I always add acid to a hearty dish. And in this case, it's seafood. So seafood and lemon are good, good, good match. Drop that in there. I love the acid in my dish. I always say it, so we'll do that. My goodness, you guys. Once I have the shrimp in here, now I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna go to a high-low now, so it's two after low. That's a high-low, remember? If you feel the need to add a little bit more water in here, you can. I feel the need to add at least another one another tablespoon, no more than that. Because rem always remember that when you're cooking with flour and you're making what they what you call a roux, which a roux is a thickening agent, it's kind of like a slurry. They call it slurry where you get some uh, cornstarch and water, and you make a slurry when you want to thicken soups or you want to thicken uh, any uh, different types of dish. But with uh, with flour, you have you know you can use the flour with the oil with the whisk. Look at this, you guys. Oh my God! You see, you guys, the water. I have to bring this close. So I can show you this delicious sauce. Let me get the camera. Look at that sauce, you guys. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. That is so beautiful. Look at how thick that is. That is going to hold in with our grits. And there's, gonna, there's nothing watery about that. So when I come back, these bad boys are going to be in here. And you don't want to miss it. I'll be back. Okay, you guys. I'm back. And look how crazy this is. I have my sauce in here. You have to take your shrimp out as fat, three minutes. You don't want rubbery shrimp. Shrimp will cook in three minutes flat. Reason why is because there's also water in shrimp. So I want to reduce my sauce down a little more. So what you do is you blow your heat up on high, stay here with it, and, let some of, and we'll let some of that liquid evaporate so we can continue to have our nice thick sauce. So when I come back, these shrimps will be poured back in here combined and you don't want to miss it. Okay, here we go, guys. we we'll pour a shrimp in there. Oh, my God. 
Oh my lord, look how thick that is. Turn your heat off right away, you guys. Look at how thick that is. Oh my god. And the corn add, and the corn not only adds another texture to your dish, but keep in mind the corn will add some sweetness and the sweetness will go ahead the sweetness will work with the spicy so that's good too so that's delicious too so let's see how our sauce tastes sometimes you might feel you need a pinch of salt always remember that acid in your dish will take will take salt taste away so you might you never know so let me just take a little taste okay you guys here goes nothing i can smell this is delicious how delicious this is god wish i had a, like a button for smell of vision Look at how thick that is. Oh my God, that is delicious. You can taste the sweetness. I have some kernels of corn. The sweetness of the corn. The heat from the Cajun seasoning. You can taste the shrimp taste. Oh my God. So now this is done, you guys. This is so beautiful. So now I'm gonna put this aside. And I'm going to bring my pan up here to the front, and we're going to crank it back on high for our grits. Now, for our grits, we're going to need two tablespoons of butter, which I already showed you on the butter. Make sure I take all the paper off. There we go. Drop it in. And now we're going to need one cup. We have two cups of water in here, so now I have one cup of milk. You can use the milk of your choice. Like, I don't know if you use full-fat milk or 2%. I have been drinking fat-free milk since my 23-year-old was two, so that's the only thing we like to drink. Once you get used to fat-free milk, you really can't do the whole milk. Ugh. It's too thick and too, I don't like it at all. I use it in recipes for baking, though. It's, it's very good for baking. So now we're gonna do that. This, this water's gonna boil like in no time. Let me grab, I'm going to take all these utensils back to the sink and wipe my stove down. And when I come back, this water's gonna be boiling and I'm gonna show you the secret so you don't get burned on making your five minute grits and we're gonna grab our cheese. You don't wanna miss it. Okay guys, I'm back. This water was boiling and now I'm gonna take it out of the stove. Move it away from the stove. You don't want the water to continue to boil because when you pour your grits into your pan and your water is still boiling, this, the grits, which is the grit of the corn, every, I'm sure you know is the grit part of the corn this is going to bubble along with the boiling water and it's going to splatter and it might burn you in the face so just for a minute take it off we're going to do one cup of one cup of grits to one and a quarter cups of water like i said i'll eyeball it so keep that in mind please it's one cup of grits to one and a quarter cups of liquid my grits are with boiling water two tablespoons of butter i'm going to add some fat free milk and our cheese so I'm going to go and start adding and start whisking. Start whisking as you're adding, while you're adding. Start whisking, and then you're going to see your rip, your grits, excuse me, are going to get thick. You want them to get a little over thick and look even dry because we're going to put milk in it. We might not need the whole cup of milk. I, I sometimes don't even need the whole cup of milk. But you can go ahead and pour it in sporadically, pour it, slowly pour it in. All right, so here we go. All right, so there's our nice thick grits. So you see, you guys, I don't. Our cheese is gonna thicken our grits, you guys. Cheese is gonna thicken it really good. So I'm done with that container. So now, so now we are going to take our grits, and they're very gritty. You see, grits are very gritty. Now I'm gonna take them, and I'm going to add some of the milk. Slowly pouring some of the milk. I might not eat it. I might not eat it all container so now I'm gonna put it over the stove see carefully. how thick they are see see how how thick it is so I want to make them creamy you guys because remember the cheese is gonna thicken it up so we're gonna pour a little bit more milk I like to play it by ear I don't like to just ratio it I just pour the whole cup in there all right so let's stir that around and see how that's starting to look get all that milk incorporated in that I'm sorry, my camera skills are like.
All right, so there we go. So you see you guys? Now we're going to put it over the stove for a minute. Watch out, that sucker's going to start bubbling up. And it can burn you. I promise you it can burn you. That's, that's the trick to my grits. I'm on the stove, off the stove. So when I come back, uh, let me put my camera back in position so you can see me and I'm going to add the Jeez. cheese. You guys, look at this. Look at how creamy and cheesy that is. You guys, I'm back, you guys, and we're ready to taste. Okay. I served myself a sample. Look at that. Look at how that sauce holds up to those grits. Oh my God. All right, guys, so I'm ready to taste. Don't forget I have the tails on for my shrimp. So I'm probably going to grab my shrimp with my hand, which I'm sure you will too. I would never do that at a restaurant though, but at home I would. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, let's grab this. Now let's grab a piece of shrimp. I'm going to do this. Okay. It's hot, you guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. God, it's so good. The sweetness of the corn, the shrimp are cooked perfect. The cheesiness of the grits and that sauce with the Cajun spices with the spiciness and the sweet and the shrimp taste and the cheese. Oh my God. I gotta try it again. Sorry guys, you know I tried twice. Oh my god, you guys, this is so freaking delicious. Okay, I'm gonna get some grits and I'm gonna get another shrimp. I burn myself so excited. <laughs> Don't forget the tail. Oh my god. It's so delicious, you guys. Excuse me. <laughs> so good. So you guys, remember, what seems complicated is not always complicated. And a dish like this is so simple to make. And what a combination. Oh my God, it is so good. I can't wait till you try this. And please let me know what you think. And remember, this took approximately 20 minutes, about maybe 20 minutes, and we're good to go to serve our dinner, especially when we come home tired from work or it's late in the afternoon and you don't want to be in the kitchen for three hours. I love to cook and I don't either sometimes, I'm tired. So you can whip up something fresh, uh, something fresh, something delicious from the south, in this case some Cajun, my version of Cajun style shrimp and grits. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, you guys, make sure you hit the like button. And if you subscribed, thank you so much. And if you haven't, please subscribe. And don't forget the notification bell. That way I'll notify you every time. It will notify you every time I have a video out. So until my next episode of Stove Top Yum Yum, as always, au revoir, los quiero, adios, and goodbye. Take care. Love you guys. Till next time.